Hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I want to post a video real quick for those of you that are new to this or feeling a little overwhelmed. These days there's a lot of information out there in natural hair, which is a good thing. But if you're new, it could be hard to know where to start. So if you're new to this or you feel lost, this video is for you. Quit putting your hair down. You know natural hair is alive and can hear you, right? The only way you're ever going to achieve anything is if you believe it first. It's impossible to properly take care of something you don't like. So show your hair some love, take good care of it and yourself, and see where it goes. This is what my hair looked like when I first went natural. I didn't worry too much about the unknown. All I knew was that I would never knowingly put poison in my hair or scalp again. In fact, one of the first videos I ever put up was on the dangers of relaxers. When you first go natural or start something new, your mentality can make or break you. Natural hair is a crown that's much greater than just length. It can do anything, so use it as a form of self-expression and carve out your own style. Knowing when and how to cleanse your hair is vital to a successful hair journey. It's not so much about how often you wash your hair. What really matters is being consistent. Don't determine your wash day schedule based on what someone else is doing. Consistency is key. So create a schedule you know you can keep and be consistent with. Your wash day process is equally as important. There's a strong interest with fast wash days. But the reality is, if your hair has a tight curl pattern and dense, as it bulks up, your wash day process will get longer and longer. It doesn't have to take all day, but it's definitely not going to be under an hour. A great tip if you're fed up with long detangling sessions, keeping your hair as stretched as possible throughout the shampoo process is a lifesaver. I do that by putting my hair in twists and bantu knots throughout the whole process. So I wash a section of twists and put it back into bantu knots. My hair never gets a chance to shrink up too much and tangle. Just in case you're wondering, I have a full wash day once a month and I manually cleanse once a week by scooping and spreading. Below is a video that goes over in detail how I scoop and spread and what my hair looks like after a whole month of doing it. My wash day process usually looks like this. Since it's once a month, I really try to make it count and give my scalp and hair extra TLC. Below is a link to a video on my onion juice recipe. I'm going to be posting a video on my updated version and different ways you can customize the recipe. I'm also going to be posting a video soon on how I stretch my tightly textured dense hair without heat and I'll leave the link to that video below. Our hair gets sad and dry when it feels neglected and needs some attention between wash days. Not too much attention, just some. Our hair is so much like a plant, so if you leave it to dry out, it will get brittle, rough, and lifeless. So the goal is to stay ahead of dryness and never let it get to that state. Staying ahead of dryness will make your life a lot easier. Everyone is different. Some of you may have to re-moisturize once or twice a week or every three days or so. Below are links to two videos on how to keep low and high porosity hair happy. If you're having a real hard time keeping your hair moisturized and lubricated, these videos are for you. I keep my hair moisturized and lubricated by keeping it stretched, utilizing the power of sebum through scooping and spreading, and layering products properly based on what my hair likes, which for me is liquid oil. So all together, I only interact with my hair about once a week. So that's it. If you're just starting out or you feel lost, start with focusing on keeping your hair clean and from ever drying out. You can make tweaks over time as you get to know your hair. Stay tuned to the next video where I'm gonna talk about the benefits of hair treatments and which ones to focus on. If it's really that important to trim your ends and my views on hairstyling. I hope this video was helpful as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.